Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Want to have some good papery fun today using some more envelope ideas for your journal? Let's get to it. All right, let me show you this fun little idea. I took a, sim a simple envelope, at some something like this one, and I turned it into this as a page design. Let me just back up a little bit so you can get a better view. Okay, so basically this little journal, as I'm putting on my glasses here so I can I can see what you're seeing. Okay, there, I, I can see again. Uh, there's a, one, two, three, and then four pockets in this journal. So I've just gone ahead and tucked some fun little things in here that can be pulled out as uh, desired and explored. This is an explore page, as I call it. And uh, I've decorated it with a little scroll, a little applique, um, a little milk topper in the back there, and a little punched out dragonfly with a dragonfly punch, and a little cluster. Um, I've also decorated it with some washi tape, which will help reinforce the cuts we're going to make into the envelope. We, and this project is very easy to do. Anybody can do this. All you need is an envelope. You can use a junk mail envelope. You can use a greeting card envelope. Anything will work. Let's get to it. Okay, so let me just put prototype over there. All right, so basically what you do, oh, let me get you all straightened out here. What's going on? Okay, yeah, it's organized. Okay, so I'm using a regular envelope. Oh dear, hang on a second, something's falling on my camera. Okay, that better. Okay, everybody good? Nope, something's up, hang on. Okay, I'm back. So I'm taking a regular envelope like this, and I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna tuck in something that has a little bit of stiffness to it, like a piece of junk mail, a direct mailer card, something like that, and fold it so it will fit inside the envelope. I'll make this just a little longer so it fits inside the envelope. I don't miss a cut. Okay, there we go. So I'm tucking that in. Actually, I'm going to turn it over so the smooth side is on the back side because that's the side I'm going to cut. And I'm going to flip it over. Okay, I'm going to do it like this, I think. And I'm going to get my little craft knife. And I'm going to get my little scissors. And I'm going to make some cuts in this. Whoop, what's going on here? Little, little guy's passing out on me. Here we go. There you go. Hang in there, little camera. Are you passing out again? Yeah, look at you passing out. Okay, what is that? All right, I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, I think I figured it out. Okay, so um, let's grab a little ruler. Well, here's a big ruler. We'll just grab this one. And I think on this one, I put one, two, three cuts. And I didn't measure where I put them, but I put the, this is, I'm going to say this is going to be the top of my envelope. And there are the birdies right on cue. And I'm going to not cut it all the way across, but I'm going to cut it partially um, all the way, uh, partially across, like from here, say, to here. And uh, as you can, I'm pushing, but not so hard that I go through the paper underneath. All right. And here. And approximately the same spot here. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to cover it with washi tape. And here. And now basically we're done the construction, the major construction part. That wasn't so bad, right? We've got three little cuts in here. Okay, so we can remove this now. That can come out. And um, we are going to go ahead and seal this up and I'm going to you can use glue stick you can use art glitter glue I use uh, create glue stick it's my favorite glue stick um, if you're looking for any favorite tools or supplies I've got my Amazon store link below you can just one click and you can see everything by picture and then by description um, okay so we've closed the envelope um, now I want to reinforce these guys and the way I'm going to do that is with some washi tape and you can use any kind of washi tape doesn't matter um i think i'll use the pink one just because i think it'll it'll be pretty on camera and i gotta find the end okay i found the end did i find the end i think i found the end okay here's the end all right now if oh, oh oh no it's still sticky okay if you're unsure and you don't trust the stickiness go ahead and run it across your i'll just give a demonstration run it across the top of your glue stick or use some white glue or something because sometimes as washi tape gets old or um, it just sometimes it doesn't always stick okay so we're going to follow the line of the cut and you're going to go a little bit beyond okay because you're going to wrap around 
you don't have to wrap around this is just my choice here um, so basically we're going to do something like that if all went well we now have this and that makes this stronger so if somebody's pulling or something in and out of there it has a little bit of strength to it okay so we're going to do the exact same thing that's interesting this one now changed color huh. i don't know why all right well we're going with the purple one this time okay and there we go all right same deal snipperoo and wrapping around the back okay and you could use material here, you could use lace, you could use um, different paper. Just, I'm just happy to grab the washi because I got a bushel full and I need to use it up. Okay, here we go. And I'm not gonna worry about covering these guys up too much because I'm gonna change the design anyway. So you can mask things if they're on your envelopes. Let's say it's junk mail stuff. You can just glue stuff over it. We're, we crafters are brilliant for covering things up. Yeah, so. There we go. So we have three little pockets and then the very back one would also be a pocket. So maybe I'm just for completeness, I'm going to put this at the top too, just so everything looks the same. I don't think I did that on prototype because I just thought of it now actually. So there you go. Okay. Now, technically, whoops, that's not very well placed. Um, you could cut the top of the envelope off and use it as a pocket um, or just use the whole thing as the pocket. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the whole thing as if it's a, in a it's a wall that I'm going to stick against um, my page. One giant piece, as if it's one piece of paper. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we get to have a little fun and decorate her up. All right, so I've got some good old uh, whoop, vintage photo here. Is that focusing? Vintage photo. Whoop. There we go, distressing. And I'm just going to go around the edges to give her a little emphasis. Knock back the white, stark whiteness a little bit. Just because I, I tend to like the, the vintage-y look. And I think I'm going to want to do more to this one. If I were going to do something to it, what would I do? Okay. Well, first of all, let's deal with covering these little guys. And as adorable and as cute as you are, you're going to be covered. Okay, let me grab something. Okay, I have some of these clusters I made the other day. They're just clusters of materials and papers and things. And I'm just gonna try these on for size here. This would work. It's got the right color. This is something for contrast. That might be cute. What else do I have here? Well, here's something completely different. That's a little bright. Um, pink, no. This one, no. How about E? E for envelope. Hey, <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go with the first one. Yeah, I just feel like that one just says that it wants to be there. And I think this would call for Fabrifix. And I'm using Fabrifix clear silicone glue because uh, it's great for fabric to paper or fabric to fabric. It also glues paper to paper wonderfully, but uh, it's a very strong glue, very fast grabbing glue. Um, it's water repellent, it almost dries like a plastic, uh, but it's a very strong glue. Okay, here we go. And we're down. Okay, and I like that it hangs over the edges a little bit, just gives it that extra bit of, you know, breaking the wall, kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, kind of cool. All right, so uh, let's see. I think I want to do something else to the, the middle. And I have some, some text, some script stamp here. This is like a script stamp. You can get these all different kinds. Um, you can get this kind and that kind. And there's all sorts of these out there, but um, all you really need, I have, I don't know why I have a hundred. You only need one. <laughs> and uh, let's see, I think I want to use black. Let me grab the black. It's not too far away. There it is. Grabbing the black, covering the glue. Remember to cover your glue. Okay. And, uh, oh, retract your craft knife. I'm trying my best to be a good crafter. I sometimes forget. Um, okay, so you can just put any side down. Are we in? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to randomly stamp. I'm going to rotate it a little. Okay, there. All right, that's kind of cool. Some across there. All right. Put a little there. Okay. 
And let's do some more. I just feel like I want to do more. Okay, so let's multicolor the edges on this one. So I, I made I made myself a black. I've got an official big black stamper now. So let's see what this looks like. Just put this. It's going to emphasize the edges, make them just stand out that much more. I think I'm going to cover in the corners a little bit more. Whoop, get in there. Yeah. All right, let's go across the top. Can't see much there. All right, now I'm still looking a little blankety blank, so I'm going to see what else I have here in the old. Maybe we'll use you to tuck in. You're kind of cute. All right. Oh my God, I've got some little boxes here. Let's see what's in them. I forgot already. Oh, look at you. You say sugar plum. Well, that, that makes me kind of makes me think of Christmas, Brett. You're kind of cute though. I might pull you out. What do we have? Oh, this must be the Christmas box. Silent Night. That's pretty. I like that. Um, I've got some other little doodads in here. Okay, got this guy, that guy. Uh, snowball. Okay, maybe too Christmassy. All right, retreat, retreat. We'll try a different box. Okay, what do we got in here? All leaves. Okay, maybe one leaf. We could maybe put one leaf on there. Let's see if we can find a flat one. Oh, there's a flat one. You're kind of flat. Maybe we'll work with you. All right, we'll see. And uh, what do we have here? What's in this little box? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing? Maybe nothing. Oh, the big fat nothing. There's nothing in there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you never know. I didn't organize that very well, did I? Okay, what else do we have here? Little things. Oh, here's a bunch of little things. Let's see what we have. I have a purse. Oh, that would be cute on there, wouldn't it? Oh, maybe a little purse. Well, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I kind of like that. Gives it some brown and brown kind of coordinating. Okay, pink. We could be going out to town with our little, you know, leopard purse there. Why not? All right, I'm putting the purse down. Here we go. And here comes the purse. Uh, we made these purses in another video a little while back. Very fun, very easy to do. You just want to be sure you're in between, like don't stick it across one of your openings. Just make sure you're above it. There we go. That's good. Now, do we want to put the leaf? Put the leaf here. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm feeling leaf now that I have a purse. Oh, but I think I found some cute things to tuck in it. Can you see any of that? I'm not sure. All right, what do I got? Oh, this is cute. It's a nice little cluster of something, but we already have a cluster. Let's go for variety. Oh, maybe some words or something. All right. Oh, here's, hang on. Okay, I pulled out a little pile of stickers and I have an old ticket here. So I thought this might be fun to put in on here somewhere. Let's see, where do you want to go? You want to go somewhere here. Let's see. Oh, maybe you could go there. That's kind of cute. Let's put you there. All right, we'll do it. Here we go. That side is cute. Oh, maybe I have more writing on that side. Sunday, April 23rd. The Ridge Avenue Passenger Railway Company. Hmm, eight cents for a ride. That's a pretty good deal. All right, so let's go ahead and put one here. Oh, I can't get in there. Hang on. There we go. All right, let's tuck you in there. Let's go on this angle. Okay. Oh, we got a fully fledged uh, parrot rocking and rolling in the background. Um, okay, let's see what else we can stick on here. I got some fun little stickers. What might? Yes, we do. <laughs> I guess that's very uh, exciting too, dear Holly. Okay, you're kind of cute. All right, let's maybe put you, oh, this is kind of cute. Maybe we'll do a New York sticker down here because we did that one up there. Okay, we can do that. Make you brown you up a little bit. Just make you look cutie boo on here. How's that? Flop you under there. Do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, here we go. Gluing you down. Can you see that? Okay, am I in, am I in screen? Sorry. Let me double check. I can't see when I look with my glove. Oh, well, got to stand up. Hang on. Whoa. Yep. Okay. Not bad. A little down. Okay. Put you there and lift up your skirt and tuck you under. Okay. Everybody's good. Hanging over is good. Okay. So now we could tuck some things inside or we could put a few more things on there with this little guy. He's kind of cute. Maybe you want to be here, huh? Yeah. Okay. We'll put you there. 
I'll brown you up a little bit too, just to give you that little vintage feel. Uh, that's a vintage photo we're using here. And I'm just gonna, it's an odd shaped piece. So sometimes these are easier when you use the thumb to guide them over the top of this thing. Okay, let's stick you in the middle. Yep, there we go. Okay, got you there. Okay, can you see that? All right, so basically, I'm just doing a bit of a collage on the top, and then we have, um, we can tuck things in this. So, what could we tuck? Well, we have one of these. Maybe we could tuck you. Um, let's see, where, where should we tuck? We'll tuck you here. Okay, so as you tuck, these things are going, here's just a playing card that I made um, with a little bit of uh, collage on the front. If you can see that, I hope and uh, stamp and uh, let me see I can put you here and then I need one more thing what do I have I have another one of those collage uh, playing cards these were a lot of fun to make just take grab a playing card and put some collage pieces on it and uh, there you are you're having fun instant instant fun and uh, now we're going to tuck you in the back maybe I need to change these so I have pink cream pink all right try that okay and then I have a something big I could put in the back okay let's see what do I have here I have my many things my thing of many things over here how about I put this this is a big journal card I still have that leaf maybe I could go on New York where am I you want to go on New York I'm not sure yet um, okay so around we go around we go around we go around we go mm-hmm yeah, there we are. And uh, maybe, oh, we'll do the back. Okay, we'll do the back. Put a little ink on there, just to say we did. We're feeling complete. It's not necessary, totally optional, just fun. And let's put a word on here or something, little focal point of some sort. Again, totally optional, but just sort of fun to play with. How about a flower? All right, we'll put a brown flower. Yeah, here we go. Boop, there we did it. All right, now. Let that air dry a little bit. It's a little wet. Okay, so he's drying very slowly. All right, you're drying that slow. I'll just stamp you again. There we go. Well, we have two of you. Okay, how about that? All right. Well, it's still wet. Okay, but the whole idea is this now will get tucked back in here. So you have a loaded page. Um, let me show you an example of what this might look like on a page. Let me grab dear prototype come on over so here is the first one we made let me make sure you can see this yep you can see this so here is an example of another one I could glue this one I'm not going to glue it onto the opposite page but like it could go on a different page in a different journal with different looks and styles because it has different uh, a different theme to it this is more vintagey antique feminine feminine travel piece and this is more of a nature piece so you can see different ways that they can be used let me put you on a different page completely so you can see him and all his her, her and all her glory you could have a little things sticking out at the top if you want so lots of fun with these so let's make another one and we'll do this one a little differently but the, the same uh, structure will be uh, done the same, or the same, it will be done the same way, the structure. So we're going to take our piece of cardstock. And as you see, you don't have to push very far. You will go through. So just uh, lightly uh, cut your paper. Okay, doing that, turning it over. I'm gonna put that at the bottom. And where did the glue go? All right, so now that we're rolling, we can just go. Oh, I got a, I got a chatty Kathy parrot in the other room. I do, I do. It's got a lot to say. So he had nice snacks today. He gets a little fruit, a little bit of veggie. Going very light here. Okay, one. And uh, two. Okay, trying not to go through all the layers. And three. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to retract the craft knife, so we're safe, we're removing that, gluing the top with a little bit of uh, craft glue stick, and it is sealed and ready to be played with. All right, and uh, in true form, I've already got splotches on it because 
I'm the messy crafter. That should have been my name. There's probably somebody out there with that name, but uh, I, I really should have been that name. <laughs> okay, so I've got some more washi and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go beyond the edges and you can tear it off ahead of time. This stuff's pretty easy to tear and then just measure it up. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. Squish. Hey, Holly Bear. Yes, he knows his own name. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> and here we go. Um, this one. So this will be a completely different theme. I could do a black and white one. That would be kind of cool. Um, if I can get my little paws on it, something all black and white here, but I will try. Okay, there we go. And I'm not going to put this at the top this time. I'm just going to leave it as is. I am going to go around in the black. Since maybe we'll do a black and white theme. And a little bit of brown mixed in with the black and white is always nice too. It's a very, um, it can be masculine, it can be uh, vintage, it can be older looking. This is, uh, in case anybody's curious, black soot color, distress ink. Yes, it's fancy stuff, Holly. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, happy bird next door. Yep. In the kitchen next door. <laughs> the next room over. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have some of that. And let's try stenciling this time. Stenciling is a great way to do some fun design quickly, easily, and uh, can look really cool. All right, so let's maybe try honeycomb and some weird dots. Okay. All right, so there's the black one. Let's just try it, see what happens. What's the worst thing, right? It's only paper, we could just start over. Not that bad, for goodness sake. Okay, we kind of smudged that, that's all right. It happens. We're gonna say it's part of the design. Yes, we planned it from the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's kind of cool, I like that. All right, let uh, me try some honeycomb here on an angle. You don't have to follow the exact pattern. You can go a little off kilter and maybe put some of that there and maybe some more honeycomb up there and maybe some of this look. Can you see this little stuff around the edge? Okay, we have that. Kind of went funky here. Let me just fix that there. Okay. All right. So now let's see. Maybe a little bit more here. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Okay. So now we have a nice background. That was very easy. And uh, let's pick a focal point. So let me locate something that is in black and white. Okay. I found this little ticket, which is not black and white, but I thought it was kind of cute. So it's a little two-sided ticket. That's very cute. It says discover on that side. I don't know. Hmm. But I thought maybe I'd give it a little... It's lumpy on that side though. Maybe I should put it on this side. It's not as exciting though. Okay, gotta find something else. Hang on. Okay, I found this old book from 1928. It is an old, it looks, it looks like a yearbook from way back when, but it's got great pictures in it. And I thought one of these might look really cool. So let me just grab a page and I'm going to add these cute little faces here and I'm just going to tear them out because I think they would look really cool torn. Now they might work in one piece or I may need to separate them. We shall see. Maybe, uh, maybe I can use one of these on every layer. Oh, that would be cool. Let's try this. All right. Creating on the fly here. Creating on the fly. I could do something like, oh, that does look kind of cool. Oh, I'd like to keep them together if I can. Let me see. If they won't comply, then we will separate them into their own quarters. Oh, that does look kind of cute. I do like that. Okay. Do we want to do that? Oh, let's just do it. Okay. All right. I'm going to ink this up a little bit around the edges. Give a little bit of black trim. I think I'm going to ink it up with a little bit of brown too to give the contrast. And this is a little bit shinier of a paper. Um, yeah, let's see. It's not su super shiny. It's just a little yeah, but the brown will just give it a little more uh, contrast with the black and white of the background. So see how that, that's kind of looking sort of cool, right? Okay, so let's go ahead. We're committing. All right. You guys are cute too. Well, you're all cute. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, here we go. All right. Oops. 
using the glue stick using the glue stick yep today I'm using the glue stick all right here we go and they're on how cute are you how cute are you all right so we have you and that is settled now I'd like to maybe add some words or some shapes I have a box of shapes here that I've cut out from just everything so maybe, well, maybe some of these guys will work too they would they would go with sort of that black and white sepia sort of look let's see yeah, you guys could look kind of cute there maybe this will be like a pocket of people how about that okay we'll try something like that you're feeling wild and dandy today i think this came from tim holtz that package of people it's probably got an official name don't know what it is but there we go all right they're peeking out and who else do we have we have oh we might want to put some numbers i got the numbers box okay and then i got the whoops this is words, different random words and sayings and stuff. And what's this? This is cherish. That might look nice on there. Okay. Let's cherish you up a little bit. We'll brown you. Here we go. Just a little bit. And we'll cherish you up with a little bit of the black too. Carrying the black and the brown theme throughout. Well, maybe like that. That could be cute. Or we should do it here. I could do it there too, but I got one there. So, okay, here it is. That's the spot row number two please all right you are up here we go and we're gluing and we're gluing there we go okay so <clears throat> one more people how are we doing time okay 26 yeah okay now i think i'm going to put a number because sometimes you can put words mixed with numbers which mixed with pictures and that's a nice compilation of uh different things um so let me pick, pick a number here here's a four how about four? Nothing wrong with four. Let's take a four. All right. You know what? I want to. I want to put them on something, though. You know. Uh, I had a piece of paper here. Hang on. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. And I think I'm going to give four a background paper just so he's going to stand out a little bit more from everybody else. Okay. So I stamped four on there. Now I'm going to tear four out. Tear four out bigger than I want. I'll try not to stick my finger in the four because it's still wet. I'll probably stick my finger in it. Who are we kidding? All right. There's a funky, funky tear on this one. Um, okay. Never know what I get when I'm hurrying. <laughs> you don't have to hurry. Okay. Nobody, you can, you can do this much more slowly and relaxed pace. Um, I just work against the clock because my, my camera only records for half an hour and then it cuts me off. So I want to get done before I cut off time. So, okay. So I think I'm going to put a four there. That looks kind of cool and uh yeah i like the simplicity of this one it's just clean and classical yeah don't need all that doodads and everything every time not every time um maybe here okay there we go all right so there's random random uh designing let me just show you a little closer okay so now we have one pocket here one pocket here one pocket here and then the big pocket in the back now um i thought i just came across these really fast and i thought they might look cool because they're um these were journal cards that i made just out of book pages and uh let's see one i backed with uh blank but the others were just book pages just using them up and uh, i'm just going to tuck these in here because i just think they would be so cute it doesn't matter if it covers your background design it's all it's all good yeah and uh, there, I'm just going to tuck this little puppy right back in there. Okay. And uh, if he gets stuck in there, it's probably just stuck on glue or he's coming out the, one of the other lips. There we go. And who are we going to put in the back? We can put a giant mambo jumbo back there. How about this big guy? We could put this big guy back here because he's sort of neutral colored. And there we go. So let's see what, how much time? Okay. Let's see what he looks like in the prototype. I'm going to dig the prototype out here. Hang on one second. I put everything on top of the book. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here it is. Well, let me just show you on a page what it might look like. So there, an example of a completed, whoop, completed page uh, using one envelope and just some decorations. And voila, there you have a page design. Very fun. Anybody can do this. Just grab an old envelope, 
Like I said, it can be from junk mail or not, doesn't matter. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share, and be sure to hit the little bell beside the word subscribe, and that way you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. Um, that doesn't automatically happen when you just hit subscribe. I have no idea why, but if you hit the bell, then you'll be notified of every video. Um, Check out my Amazon store for any favorite tools and supplies that I use during these videos or other videos. One click and you can see everything. Um, be sure to sign up for the free newsletter, which is going to include a monthly uh, free digital printable for you. It also includes the free checklist of journal supplies, which is seven or eight pages long. It's a very uh, uh, a rich, resourceful list of supplies, basic and advanced. Uh, check out, it also has a note from the bookmaker that I use um, to tuck in the front of all my journals. Uh, that you can use at will. And what else? Um, I put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 a.m. Eastern time. I do podcasts, which play every Tuesday and Thursday, and all the links are down below in the drop-down description box. And um, I put a list of my playlists down below as well and at the end of my videos so that you can find similar related videos to these topics. I have a whole list on um, page layout designs to give you ideas on how to <clears throat> take all the little bits and bops that we've made from the using up the book page series and actually create uh, page designs with them. Um, I'm found on Instagram, Etsy, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. I have a fun Facebook group if you like to do weekly or monthly challenges or just like to uh, chit chat about junk journals, trade ideas, share encouragement and support. This is the place for you. Come on over. It's free. We would love to have you. It's a very fun and happy and friendly group. And remember that fun can be simple. Uh, also, I have uh, uh, vintage digitals available in my Etsy shop. If you'd like to check out those, I think there's at least 20 right now, but there's more coming. So be uh, sure to check those out if you have any interest in digitals. Digitals might come in handy for you if um, you don't have a lot of room in your place and you, you can't store original old ephemera um, this way you only print it out as you need it and um, or you, you have a difficulty finding old ephemera or um, it's too expensive when you do find it so if that uh, helps you um, then this might be an answer for you so that's pretty much it till next time we see you um, please uh, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon take care everybody bye bye <laughs>